Hi Scorpio, how are you all doing? Welcome to your third week reading of January 2020. This reading is from the 15th until the 22nd of January. Okay, let us get into it. Before I start, I always work with herbs. So I am going to be calling in your guys, spirit guides, into my spirit room. I know I need to break those blocks just a little bit. Oh yes, look at that. So, Spirit Guides of Scorpio, please, will you come into my spirit room and uh, give us some information, give us some insight into what is happening into with Scorpio's romantic relationships, okay, with the heart chakra space, what is going on, what messages do you have for your people, um, for their highest good, there we go, so, guys, thank you so much for clicking on the video, I really appreciate it, I've got herbs all over me, um, my name is Deborah, and this is my channel, Energy of Everything. Welcome into my spirit room, guys. And um, I would love it so much. If the reading resonates with you, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. You can also subscribe and hit the notification bell because these readings come out once a week. Okay, then you will know. You'll get notified when they come out. So, let's go. Spirit guides, I am asking, can you please draw out a card that represents the energy of Scorpio right now, what is going on with them. And then we're going to draw out a card that represents the energy of a person that they are dealing with in their life presently, or maybe in the future. Let's see, because I don't know, this is a general read, but I've got to tell you, my readings are extremely specific. Hey? It's like a specific group of people will resonate with those readings and messages are meant for them. A lot of our situations are nearly the same, but different. You know what I mean? We all are one, guys, not separate, please. You know, we live on different parts of the planet. We have different cultures and religions and beliefs. But our emotions, our feelings are all the same. When I am sad, I feel sad just like you feel sad, okay? So that is what makes us one, people. So that is why these readings will resonate if it is your situation. There we go. Right, let us have a look in. Spirit guide, Scorpio's energy. Oh my God, Scorpio, tower. There's been a breakup. There's no other way to put that. Something has ended like now. Oh gosh, I always get these weird readings, you know. Oh, and then you've got on this side, you've got the wands energy. I mean, this is somebody offering after a breakup, really? That's interesting. Past energy. Let's have a look. Sun card in reversed. Ooh, present energy. Whoa. Four of swords in reversed. <clears throat> Future energy. Knight of pentacles. Let's have a look. I want to get in here a little bit further. There, there has been something going on here. It's like you found something out. You found something out. You just went ballistic and had a tower moment with somebody. But the person, your person, that this is a relationship. I don't think it's over. It, I think you want it to be over. Or you like told somebody to pack their stuff and leave kind of vibe. That's how I'm feeling it. It's just like, Phew, you know. And this person's like, no, 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 no. This is a misunderstanding. No, 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 no. I don't want this relationship to be over. I want, no, no, they don't want it to end. But you're putting on the brakes. <laughs> You're putting on the brakes. Wow. Scorpio. Woo. Let's have a look. <clears throat> Let's have a look deeper into this tower moment on your side. Two of Wands. Jeez, like, wow, guys. And then, this is interesting. Ace of Wands, Two of Wands. All right. And then Eight of Wands. Oh, my goodness. This is very interesting reading. This is twisting. This is a twist, like, like a twisted. It's like, you know, when you watch those, those really good movies and there's a twist at the end. <clears throat> this is your life, Scorpio. <laughs> you could make a movie. I'm just saying. It's very interesting. So now, tower moment we all know. You don't want something to continue. You want it to end. Okay. Something happened here that made you... Um, it's like, I mean, we've got the sun in the past energy. So it's like you're dealing with somebody, you're dating someone, you're with somebody. <clears throat> Sorry, excuse me. I don't know if you are actually 
in a very, very committed situation with them. Okay? But I got this vibe like you were dating someone. You actually met somebody. Yeah, with two of wands, right? You met someone, obviously, because the yeah is the person that offered you the ace of wands over there. And they were like, they were coming. They, they're crazy about you. You were like, oh, okay. Okay. All right. They, they, they came for you and they didn't hesitate as well. And it's so funny because I feel like the situation between you and this person, it's almost like there's this funny spiritual connection going on here. I don't mean to be funny. Um, I don't know if you have thought of that before with regards to this person, okay? And I picked up another thing, and this is not coming from the cards, I cannot lie. This is coming from spirits, okay? From spirit, is just putting these images that are coming into my mind. It's like you picked up something from them okay because you met them and it's like whoa what is going on here it's like the connection between you and this person it's not normal even it's like that's how you felt it's like this is just too intense this is just too weird and Scorpio is like I don't know you must remember Scorpios are very intuitive people if you're a Scorpio you may pick up on energies very quickly, maybe not being able to explain what you are feeling. And it's almost like, <laughs> I've got this to say, phrase in my mind, the fear of God came into you <laughs> when this happened. Because this could be a soul connection here. And when you felt that feeling, it is like the sun rose and it was just like, what? No, 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 no. And you know what? In your mind, you may have always thought, when I get this connection that comes into my life and I have the soulmate, I don't want to use the word twin flames because I think we overuse the word twin flame. Twin flame is extremely rare, guys, okay? Very rare, like extinct kind of rare. We overuse that phase, by the way. But soulmate, yes, okay? Um, and it's almost like when you realize that this could be something very serious very important soul moving situation you just said what uh -uh, uh -uh. because the picture that you had in your mind of who your soulmate should be may not have exactly been <coughs> this person you may have had another <coughs> for some reason my throat is closing up anyway you may have had another picture in mind of how it was going to be and it's not exactly what you thought it was going to be. But this person, eight of wands over here, they didn't play. They came in like, Voof, hello, I've arrived. That's the whole energy over there. Very fast moving. They connected with you very quickly. And it, it was like you did connect with them. And you're just like, hello, everything is fine. Everything's good. And then you realize, wait a minute, this is not normal. What is going on here? No, man, this is not what I pictured in my mind. This is not, oh my gosh, putting on the brakes. Whoa, guys, let's calm it down. I think, we, I think we're moving too fast. I think we should calm down. I think we should just like back it off and, um, you know, let's just cool it a little bit. And you're trying to pull out almost out of, I don't know what it is you're feeling. Like, this is just too much. This is, I'm afraid. And, oh, no, I don't know what to do. No, this can't be this way. I don't know what is happening. Okay. Then you've got this energy here. In your present situation, it is like you did put those brakes on. You did go, whoa, 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 whoa. But this person is still offering. They open. And, they, and they're not very patient, I have to tell you. Guess what? You're teaching them patience, by the way. Good for you, Scorpio. Four of Wands, Sword, sorry, in this reverse energy is like, yeah, you put the brakes on. You did that. You, you did a little tower moment there. You did like before things went any further, maybe into more romantic relationship. It could have been like a friendship relationship where you met this person. Yeah, what a clicking friendship relationship. And then all of a sudden it starts shifting into more than that. And you were just like, whoa, 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 whoa. But now four swords is in the reverse, guys. That's coming to an end. It's no more let's rest, let's not do this, let's, it's going to move further into something else, because yeah, you have this knight coming in, it is a knight of pentacles, okay, this person is still offering you, and your mind as well, you in your head, you're also thinking about this, you are also thinking about this, 
but you're not going to move it. You don't want to go fast. I think this just scared you because that eight of wands, with that ace of wands over there, that was way too quick for you and it scared you. It was like, what is happening? What is happening? So yeah, it's not that you're not open to it. I think you're just trying to wrap your brain around what is going on and you may actually approach them in the future because you're not staying here. Oh no, this energy. Oh no, it's moving. Oh, it's moving right now. Your th thought process is about this whole thing, everything. It's going to start shifting. And you will. And they stay offering. So you're going to offer as well. You're also going to come forward with some thoughts and some movement towards them. But it's not going to be eight of one speed like that. No, this is not Formula One, guys. Relax, okay? So you are going to offer it. You are going to move forward into this. Um, but in a focused way, in a controlled way, I think you like that better. You don't want to have this like this out of controlled whirlwind. What is going on? My heart can get shattered into bits in this situation. Oh my gosh. No, no, no. You don't want that. You want this to be good controlled situation. And I think that's a good thing. I want to get last card out for you guys. Message from your spirit guides. Spirit guides, what is this last message that you can give to your Scorpios with regards to this mm, soul connection, guys? There is definitely something going on. This is a person, you know, when they met you, it's like they recognized you. I'm sorry, I'm just saying that this is what I'm feeling, right? When they met you, they couldn't control their feelings. They couldn't control even themselves. I think they just looked at you and they knew you. It's like soul recognition between the two of you. This is very beautiful, guys. You're a little bit scared, I think. But don't be, don't be scared. Okay, let's see. Maybe you should be, I don't know. Hey? <laughs> let's ask Spirit. Spirit Guides for Scorpio. What is the last message that you should, that Scorpio should know? Let's have a look. Ah, wow. Knight of Wands in the reversed position. There's a lot of movement going on here. A lot of things. And it's like, I like, it's almost like, you see this Eight of Pentacles being there. I feel like this Knight of Wands is actually, you know, it is saying the same thing. Don't let this be a chaotic situation here because this energy is so fast and Knight of Wands is too fast. It's almost like, you know, this, the, that world ring romance, crazy, like what is going on here? This is just too chaotic, okay? And this is the thing with the Knight of Wands being in the reverse position. There is going to be some crazy crazy attraction between the two of you and that is what makes this situation so insane there is that attraction i mean this person I, this person is extremely attracted to you scorpio you must be as hot as hell i'm sorry <laughs> i'm just saying okay for this person to come in like this and they came in in such a way that they offered you friendship first and when they started to show that ace of wands to you, you were just like, boing, no, I'm scared. No, I don't want this. But <clears throat> there is this future energy. It is going to be a little bit crazy in this relationship because of the soul connection, guys. You're going to have to hold it. I really think Knight of Pentacles energy, embody that. Take it slow. Think it clearly through every step that you take. Okay, have rules and regulations, like have boundaries set up as well as you go in, because this is this can be out of control energy. Joined with this, and then with that, we just this is all about action. <clears throat> okay, I'm not going to say what kind of action. Okay, just use your imagination. <laughs> Good luck, Scorpio. I think you're going to need it. Something has just happened in your life. Whoa. Good luck. <laughs> Wishing you light and love. Bye.